Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. I am an old guy gaming. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and we are going to do Horde Night 14. Okay, so let's see if our little base thing works here. <laughs> um, I'm still not sure if it's going to totally work, but I guess we're going to find out. Um, so if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, we spent that episode building this setup and um yeah it should be it oh look all right they're pathing along there um so far it seems like it's working pretty good so let's see here i took my my silencers off both of my weapons they had it because those aren't doing us any good on horde night and uh man that's a lot of zombos uh so we'll get just a little bit more bang for a buck uh, from the weapons okay here we go it's on i'm gonna mostly use melee for tonight um because we don't have a lot of um ammo okay they're kind of hitting through through there so keep in mind too uh, for anybody who maybe hasn't been watching the series, we have 300% XP, so this horde's going to be a lot more substantial than a normal Day 14 horde. Okay, we're out of stamina. Let's, um, let's tap that, and let's take one of these. I can't use my Molotovs in here, unfortunately. That isn't going to work so well. But I'm I'm uh, I'm impressed <laughs> how well this is working so far with the pathing and everything. All right. I do have my uh my nerdies on for the. XP bonus. Oh, you got a tag on us. Okay. Here they come. Yeah, I, I, I am really... I mean, so far, <laughs> the night just started, but I'm impressed that it's working this well so far. Um, how is this doing? Eh, that's doing pretty good. Oh. Yeah, that needs... That needs a little of attention. I have to keep an eye on those, too. It's nice that they can't crawl through the horseshoe there. Okay, so far so good. Let's use some archery here. Okay, let's check our hatch. It's in pretty good shape. Everything's in actually pretty good shape. Uh, oh, I didn't want to necessarily do that, but that's all right. We just have a very, very limited amount of concrete mix. Okay, let's check this bag. Alright, what's going on out here? They're coming, coming back up to return. Okay, that's working pretty good. Spider's going to be a bit of a problem. You can just get some bleeds on him. Stick your head through. Hmm. 
<laughs> take that, Biker. Alright, let's take one of these. And we're also gonna just touch these up. Well, they're actually in pretty good shape. Let's touch up the steel. That's actually not bad shape at all. I think we're good. Okay. We gotta get a gotta deal with that spider. Can we just do this? Get rid of the spider. Did that get rid of him? I think so. Yep. Nice. Okay. We're banged up a little bit. So let's just take a... a bandage there. That's the downside to the knife is you gotta be re relatively close to them to... Spider's a pain in the butt. There isn't really any way I can get up to get him either. Let's just touch up a couple of those. Okay, well the spider jumped back down. I think, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, he keeps jumping back over here. You know what? Okay. I kind of had to do that to get rid of him. Oh, my son of a bitch infected us. Alright, let's do this. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. The knife has a little more range than I think I gave it credit for, though, actually. Just feels like you have to get a little closer. Alright, we have a buzzard. Uh, did I kill him? I don't know. I hear a, a cot or a... Probably a cop. Hopefully it's not a boss vulture. Oh, wow. We better take another one of these. And I think we'll also take one of those to bring even more health. Okay, we had some spit somewhere. Nothing's really in too bad a shape, though. There's more spit. Yep, there's the cop right there. Don't no spit. Not allowed. Let's get rid of this copper. Okay. Yeah, the knife's doing work, man. I hear a dog. Um, you know what? Though? I don't think dogs can get up here because they can't get up the ladder. So, sucks to be them. Probably actually does suck to be them. Or any of these zombos. Okay, let's see. That's in pretty good shape. That's in pretty good shape. I mean, nothing's really major damage here. We'll just keep on keeping on for a little bit longer. Once we have a finite amount of resources. Okay, we got more cop spit. I wonder why they're spitting at me when I'm not in line of sight. I wonder if they change that. OK, 
Okay, we got a buzzard. He did. Let's go ahead and give that a little tap and that a little tap. And I think we're... Uh, yeah, that probably needs a tap. Anything else is good. Okay. Cop spit coming in. So if we were to use this base again, we would definitely need to reinforce that side as opposed to this side. Just kind of, just kind of thinking, you know, for the future here. Do we not loot that bag here? There we go. Okay, let's just. Check this, it is taking some spit damage. Oh, I didn't mean to concrete that. It's like this cop is just sitting down there spitting at us. Where is he? Oh, he's coming around this way now. up aloud, man. I think uh, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot will be proud of us. How we came up with a, a way to defend against the Blood Moon Horde. He was kind of worried for us when he called us on the radio yesterday. But I think we got this. I shouldn't say that yet. We still have two more hours to go. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good so far. There's going to be a few more bags, but we'll have to get those at the end of the Horde Night. Can we see that comp? Nope. I think he's... Not sure where he is. We'll, just, we'll be ready for him when he comes. Get off that. Okay, let's check this. We'll tap that. Give that a tap. Give that a tap. sure where that cop was like oh shoot he did look but I think he blew up down below so okay we need to heal tap that tap that everything else is looking reasonably good Check the bag. All good stuff. And our critical is done, so that's all so good. Knock it off, lady. What the heck was that noise? He's dead. Something... Oh, careful. Something went weird down there. I don't know what it was. Like, something crashed. Hmm, not sure. Oops, nope.
You know, I wonder if I could... If I could throw a Molotov out there, that would be good, but... I'm afraid I'm gonna hit the horseshoe and just burn myself. Molotovs are tricky that way. Okay, that's looking good. Let's tap that once. Let's give that a tap. We'll hit the door. Yeah, see if we could chuck Molotov right when they're down in the dip there. That would be good. Go away, biker. Nice boobs sticking through the hatch there. <laughs> Edgar, knock it off. Got another level. We got two bags here. Oh, nice. We got a big medi kit out of that and some other good stuff. Oh, um, give me that and give me. We don't. We already know the the two, so we don't need to learn the one. We'll just sell that to the trader. You were dead, lady. Come on, copper. Don't blow up. Not allowed. Okay, we need to make room for something. Um, what are we going to do? Let's just eat this. I know we can use it for tuna fish gravy, but we're going to make a, a spot there. I'm actually going to put you down here. Okay. Let's uh, check repairs. It's looking good. That needs a little bit of attention. Big Mama, get out of here. Dang. Alright. We're going to take the big one. I need to be a little more careful. And we need to take the honey too. Okay, let's clear these guys out of here. Oh, that spit like came all the way through the thing it looked like. So we did get a hit from this side. That's a, uh, that was in bad shape. Okay. You know what? We're going to take this to concrete. Or no, we're not because we don't have any concrete left or not enough concrete left. Okay, let's touch that up. There's a feral. Feral Arlene. A dead Arlene. Okay, come on, Jiggly. And then copper. Uh, let's go ahead and repair this now. Running out right in the middle of it, but it really counts. Off with your head. Off with your head. Where's that damn combat? I might want to put like a little ledge or something out there just so I can go out a little further. See what's going on. It's morning. We survived. All right. Yeah, yes. All right. Well, we don't have to worry about any new new monsters coming. We'll take this cop out when he comes, pokes his head up here. Okay. Another cop.
Oh, we got a double on that. Nice. Where are you going, Steve? Get off there. Oh, he's off now. Ooh, that bow's a feral. Some bleeds going on him. Or, well, we can just take his head off, too. That works. Still here, a few more footsteps. I'm thinking, um, as long as we're not too terribly far away for Horde Knight 21, we should come back here and just use this base again. And hopefully by then we'll have access to concrete and we can reinforce it a little bit better too. But uh, this worked pretty good for the most part. Um, what I was, I'm thinking of is, you know, some kind of like a little ledge out here that we can actually walk out there and see better what's going on and actually reach those for me that's crazy um and i don't really have a good solution for you know when they crouch down like the spider was he was kind of a pain in the butt so not sure about that we're gonna do a, a science test here after we're done dealing with yo here don't think it's gonna work but we're gonna try it anyway you coming up here or what dude I think he actually lost track of me for a second. Alright, we're just waiting for Billy the Biker. I think he'll be coming up that way. Oh, he must have fallen all the way back down. So I don't see anything out here that's major damage. Well, that was pretty fairly significantly damaged, I guess. <laughs> the dog's still down there. Did we, uh, did Billy the Biker lose interest in us? Okay, so let me try something here. Let's get a beverage on our <clears throat> on our toolbar. So when this doesn't work, okay. So I'm pretty sure if I stand right up against here, it's gonna. You know what though? If we put that platform out here that I was talking about. Let's try something here. Play the biker still down there. Oh, right. <clears throat> I forgot that block is facing out the other direction. That's not going to work too well. Okay, so I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to give that some more thought. Okay, well let's try the first the first science test that I was going to do which is not I'm not expecting it to work. So, like I was saying, if we stand right here and throw, we're almost certainly going to hit that, but if we stand back here a little bit, you know, uh we don't actually have to ignite it. We could just... Yeah, see? Well, okay. But I think that still bumped the side of the thing, in which case it would have ignited. So if we aim right for the middle, 
Yeah, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. <laughs> that is not going to work. Another possibility is that we, uh, we, we take this block out and put a hatch there. And we could jump up on top of this and throw Molotovs down on the Zombs. So, you know, there's there's always a solution. We just have to we have to kind of think it through. But I would say that the this horde base was uh, quite a success. Indeed it was. And uh, we also got some points too, so uh, let's put these luckies back on. Do we have any bags down below? Uh, I see a bag there, and we also have that dog is nearby, so we need to be ready to deal with that. Make sure you're loaded. All right, where's the dog? It's right there. He did. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> that scared the bejeebus out of me. See that? Yeah, let's close that door. Let's put our agility spectacles back on. Sometimes the Zombos would run through... Okay, and then they would just come out here. How's the ladder look? It's not damaged at all. It's in really good shape. Yeah, that took a, a, a couple hits, which is not surprising. That's just very minor damage. Sometimes they like to fixate on the corners. But, um, you know, those, again, those can be reinforced. Yeah, they hit, would hit there a little bit, hit there a little bit. Let's see what this ladder looks like over here. That took some damage. Yeah, this ladder took a little, little bit, but certainly lasted the night, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this base, man. Let's take a look at our points. All right, so we we need to get an actual uh, agility level of nine. So I think, oh no, we should probably, excuse me, we should probably start by putting points into the, our three main thingies here. So um, this is now called Hair Splitter. And that gives us 40% more damage with bows, 40% faster aim, draw, and reload. Okay. Gunslinger. This gives us 40% more damage with handguns, 20% faster fire rate, 20% five faster. Uh, reload. Critical damage. Four successive hits in a short time caused the last shot to do 100% extra damage. Very nice. Okay. And then deep cuts. Swordsman. Bladed weapons deal 40% more damage, inflict up to six bleeding wounds on an enemy. And a power attack inflicts four. Glancing blows have a 70% chance to cause one bleeding wound. Stamina costs are reduced by 25 and 50% for power attacks. Killing blows grant 20% stamina. Okay, I like those killing blows giving stamina, uh, you, know, you know, mechanic in this game. It's awesome. Okay, so then for next points, we're going to do Hidden Strike from the Shadow Light Armor. And then we'll have to get to level eight to do Parkour. We're, we've maxed out run and gun, and we won't be able to do whirlwind until we hit ten, uh, which also a level five in all of these will require too. So we're doing pretty good, man. I'm already, you know, I can already tell that this build, even though it's not fully, you know, a full agility build yet, it, we're also we're already doing pretty good, doing some pretty significant damage. So it's just gonna get better from here. 
All right, you guys. Well, um, ooh, that had some damage, didn't it? Um, the tentative plan for now is that we we probably, unless we're like way across the map by day twenty one, which we probably won't be, uh, we'll probably come back here and do this base again on Horde twenty one. But hopefully, you know, be able to at least have you know concrete, be able to make concrete by then, so we can upgrade everything to concrete and uh, then go from there. So. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And then the plan is to set out tomorrow or actually probably later today on day 15 and start doing some more exploring and uncovering more of the map, starting with opening trade routes, uh, which is a trader gym. So that is the plan for the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.